what's up y'all so today we're gonna be doing a get ready with me because your girl is kid free so we're about to go have some fun and go outside okay but anyways y'all i will be spilling some tea while i'm getting ready and doing my face on the time that i had met a man and y'all it was crazy y'all found out something real crazy about this man and this goes to show y'all that no matter the age some of these men don't grow up some of these niggas just still ain't shit Okay, I'm not going to put all of these men in a category because there are some good ones out there. And if y'all know some, send them my way. Okay, but a lot of these men just aren't shit and they just want to be stuck in their ways. And, mm -hmm. Okay, so anyways, let's get into it. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe. So we're going to put my hair in a ponytail so I don't get any makeup on it and then we're going to do my hair afterwards. I saw Lamora's little hair bow thing because I'm always missing my hair ties y'all like I don't know where it's at so yeah so I get these from the beauty supply but they're so cute because I did have a nose ring before y'all but if y'all can see my skin keyboards oh and it pisses me off so bad because I love piercings like they're so cute they're so aesthetically pleasing and I can't even really like express myself with my piercings because my skin wants the damn keloid up so anyways we're gonna start off with some primer now let's get into this man with his crazy cheating ass okay so i was at the gas station and i feel like honestly y'all um, you meet all the men at the gas station like it's always somebody at the gas station the men be thirsty and they be ready to talk to you so anyways, I had um, I was going somewhere far in Georgia. If y'all live in Georgia, y'all know. <laughs> Everything is kind of far. So I was going on the other side of town. I stayed on the south side and I had to go up north. So I already had like a half a tank, but I knew by the time I got there and it was time to come back, I was gonna be like out of gas because I was a half a tank. So I was like, okay, cool, let me put, ooh, let me put a little something in my tank so it can get on full or whatever. So I had put 15 in my tank, minding my business, putting the gas in my car. And yeah, so I'm pumping the gas. The man seen that I put 15 in my tank because he was looking at me. And he was like, hey, and he gave me a $100 bill. He was like, put some more gas in your car. Like, why are you only putting 15 in there? Like, you need a, you need a real man that's going to take care of you and make sure that you're good on gas. And, you know all it is. So I seen that the man was a little older. I want to say he was like in his early 30s. And that's older than me because y'all know I'm only 22. So, you know. But yeah, so of course I took the money. Shit, that was a hundred dollar bill. What's my clicking, Steven? So I took the money and I told him thank you. I said thank you because that was a kind gesture. And he had went back to his car like he was about to go on with his day. And then he turned around right before I got in the car and he was like, hey, can I um get your number? Maybe we can go out to dinner sometime. Like, what do you like to eat? Y'all know what I said. Seafood. I love seafood. So, you know, you down to get some seafood? Baby, come on, let's go get some crab legs. So, gave him my number and we locked in with each other. Oh my God. I got makeup on my outfit, y'all. Now I gotta change. So, we locked in with each other and that was that. So we was texting back and forth or whatever, and he seemed cool. He seemed like, you know, like he was just cool people. So, um, hold on, where's that counselor? So fast forward, probably like a couple of days later, he, we had locked in a day as to when we were gonna go out to eat. We had picked this restaurant called Blue Seafood, and it's in the city, y'all. It's really nice. Um, I love seafood and they got some good seafood. So if you're ever in Atlanta, blue seafood, okay, period. So anyways, uh, we went there and y'all, first of all, when I walked in, like, I already been there before, but I'm just describing it to y'all. Like, it is so nice in there. Like, it's so cute. The lighting is giving like date night type of vibes, really intimate. And I just, it's aesthetically pleasing y'all. So we was in there as soon as we sat down, um, he asked if I wanted anything to drink on before the waiter had came. And y'all know me. When it comes to drink, I'm like, it. So I had ended up getting like a little martini. And then he had, um, he had got like a Patron margarita. So that was that. And I only had one drink because this is my first time really meeting him. I didn't want to get like too loose around this man. 
So we're talking, we're conversating. You know, I asked him if he has kids, which obviously he's a little older than me, so I expected him to have kids. He told me, yes, he had kids. He had about three kids and they were all grown. He said he had no little kids. And he told me what he did for work, which he told me that he owned his own uh, transportation, well, luxury transportation company. So he had the black trucks and like, you know, all of the nice cars that people would rent out. Cool. So, this is how I contour my face. If I'm not doing this right, so y'all, mind y'all business. I'm a beginner and I'm just not starting to do my face. But y'all gonna see the outcome, okay? But that's cool. Like, I love hearing when, like, a man has something going on for themselves. Because, y'all, I didn't have my fair share of dealing with some bum-ass niggas that literally had nothing going on. And, baby, when I tell you I'm not going back, I'm not going back. So... <laughs> Anyways, we're conversating. The vibes was good. I had wear it like a um, fried shrimp platter. I always get that. You said what, baby? I didn't call you. Let me charge my phone up. Y'all know Boy be calling me. She literally has separation anxiety a little bit because she's gonna be under me all the time. All the time, all the time. Even if I have one little breather, she is throwing a fit. Like, I want you now, mama. Come get me from grandma house now. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, so I had a shrimp platter. And y'all, every time I go get seafood, I get the same thing. Because I honestly don't really trust like boiled seafood everywhere. Like their sauce just don't be good. Like, I don't know. So I, you can never go wrong with no fried seafood. If you do, y'all just don't know how to damn cook. And y'all need to shut down now. So anyways, food was good. Um, the vibes was good, but yeah, he told me that he had all his kids was grown. He had three kids. He said that he was never married. He told me that his kids' mother stayed all the way in like Cali or some shit, and they been had separated like years ago. So cool, you know, because I'm not for men just cheating on their wives. Cause when I get married and my husband cheat on me, I'm killing him. I'm gonna kill him. Cause what? We took vows. We took vows. Like, no, that's not okay. So I don't know. That's maybe why I don't need to get married because I just, I don't know. I'm gonna get married one day, but it really has to be to the person that has the same type of like values that I, it has to be a person that values marriage like I do. Like if we're locked in, baby, we locked in. And we locked in, I ain't no switching up. And if you switch up, I'm gonna kill your ass, okay? So I asked him if he had like Instagram, social media, because I was gonna probably try to like, you know, run a car from him. Girl, this man told me he had no Instagram, but keep in mind his phone was open. Like when we first got there and I seen the Instagram app on his phone, but I just ain't say nothing because shit, like later on to the conversation, like it wasn't a big deal to me, but later on in the conversation, of course I brought it up, like what's your Instagram? This man told me he had no Instagram. Okay, that right there raised a red flag to me because what the fuck? Like, I seen the app on your phone, sir. So what are you hiding? Anyways, of course, that put my radar up. And y'all, me, I'm low-key a private investigator. When I'm invested and when I want to find something out, I am Smiley. I will find that shit out. If y'all know who Smiley is, y'all need to go watch Baddies. And that girl used to know everybody information. So anyways, when I got home, y'all know what I did, baby. I started looking, cause what the fuck? Like, what you mean you don't have Instagram? And it's like, I don't wanna know why people lie. Like, if I feel like you're lying, like, I just gotta know why. So anyways, I had went and I typed his number into this website that basically shows, well, tells you um, somebody's name, their number, their address, and basically everything like that. So I knew his first name, I did not know his last name. So they told me his uh, the potential phone owner, which was his name, and then his first and last name popped up. His age popped up, which this man told me that he was 35, but he was really 41. So why would you lie? Like The only thing that he told the truth about was his birthday. So anyways, I typed his name into Facebook because a lot of these older people have Facebook. Like that's, that's number one, they have Facebook. I typed his name in and then it instantly popped up his picture right there. Biggest cup. I'm like, look at this man. Click. 
I click on it, the profile, I'm scrolling down to the pictures, baby. It's time to look, it's time to search. It's time, it's time to see what the hell you really got going on. Cause sir, why would you lie to me? Anyways, um, scrolled all the way down. Baby, this man had a picture of his kids, which he had four kids, three grown kids, one kid that was three years old. Excuse me, why the fuck would you? Anyways, in the picture also was his wife. This man had a whole goddamn wife. No ring was on his finger, but this man had a whole wife. Like, what is up with these married men, for real? Like, these married men, low key be the freaking worst. Like, I swear to God, like, they are crazy. So I went on the wife's profile and y'all full blown relationship. Like they have been going on trips. They are happily married. Like it's lash time y'all. So these are my favorite lashes to use. <laughs> we gotta use them and get real cute because baby, I've just been in this house being a move out. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But it's time to go out and enjoy myself. So yeah. Anyways, y'all, linked to his Facebook was the Instagram page that he said he didn't have. Hmm. Liar. Caught your ass. Like, why the fuck would you lie? That is so weird to me, y'all. Like, I hate a liar. Anyways, went on his Instagram page public. Oh, man only had like 50 followers and was following like a thousand people. So you could tell like he was an older guy because I feel like a lot of older guys, their profiles look like that. So, yeah, the guy was married, y'all. The same picture that was on Facebook was on Instagram. And that's why his ass told me he didn't have Instagram. And, yeah. So, after that, I sent him the picture to his phone and I just blocked him. He didn't say shit. He didn't even try to get me from a fake number. And I didn't expect him to. But that was insanity. Like, where is the last one? That was insane. And, honestly, y'all... Uh, he probably was giving sugar daddy, but I just, like, that, he a liar. And I just can't deal with no man that's happily just married. Like, hell no. Hell no, y'all. Like, that just goes against so much, y'all. Like, mm -mm. Like, you took a vows. And y'all, it really be these married men that act a fool. That act a plain fool. Why is that? Flash on. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm doing my makeup. I didn't even get on the brows yet, y'all, but we about to get into it. But isn't that crazy? It's music time, y'all, so I can finish getting ready. Let's vibe! <laughs> Baby, I just want you. Baby, you my everything. You are all I ever wanted. We can do it real big. I hope that you don't take it. It's lip time because I wasn't blessed with big juicy full lips, so I gotta fill them in. Bitch, where your money going? Face is done, y'all. Beats to the gods. <laughs> I love like a natural beat. It is. I did not finish my get ready with me yesterday. So I'm like, look, let me tell these folks how everything went. So update, I had a time last night, period. A time was had. So yeah, child, we about to uh, have some fun with the kiddos. We're about to go to the pool. And yeah, so we're about to vlog. It's gonna be a whole separate vlog. I love y'all so much. If you guys like the story time, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, don't miss out, Bookie. Go ahead and subscribe. Love y'all. Bye-bye.